Hi, you guys. Oh, I'm actually sick today. Mm, I don't feel good. Um, but I wanted to get on here and update you on my reverse diet before I forget um, and before too many days pass and it's time for the next check-in. So tomorrow is five weeks post-show. Um, my average weight last week was 130 pounds, which actually, actually, this video is crooked. Let's see if I can fix this really quick. Which actually is the same as it was the week before, but here's the weird slash annoying thing is my weight on check-in day was 131. My weight the week before on check-in day was 129, was 128.5, no, it was 128. So even though my average was the same for two weeks, if I was only weighing myself on those check-in days, I would freak out and think that I gained like three pounds. So if you can handle it, that's why I do think that daily weigh-ins can be helpful, um, if you can handle it. I've had like some stomach issues the last week, like a lot of, I'm kind of sick, <laughs> like I said. So I haven't weighed myself the last couple days because I don't really feel like seeing a high number. I don't, I just don't want to, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So I haven't weighed myself, but uh, if you feel like you can handle seeing the number daily, then daily weigh-ins and tracking your average can be a helpful um, measure of information. So. Um, check-in day, I was 131, but average weight was the same as week before. So my coach did increase my, um, my calories. So she upped fats by five grams on both days, high and low day. And she upped my carbs by five grams on my high day. We did also talk about moving to the same macros every day. On my high days, I'm feeling like a little bit of a, like not as much self-control because I find myself thinking, oh, it's a high day or, oh, I'm having my cheat meal later. I can just um, kind of, you know, nibble on some things and track it later and it's okay. It's already high. It doesn't matter. You know, um, I find myself justifying it in that way. So I told her about that. It's important to tell your coach everything, you guys. I talked to her about that and we talked about the possibility of moving to the same daily macros um, next week at check-in. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next week. Um, my calories are over 1,500, finally. Woo, woo, they're 1,505 or something like that on my low days and 1,850 on my high days. Yeah, baby. Um, so my body fat percentage was 11 and a half. So it went up about a half, about 0.6%. I know it's gonna keep going up. I'm totally okay with it. Um, yeah, so my macros on my low day are, let's see, 45 fat, yeah, 45 fat, 135 carbs, 140 protein, and macros on high day are 45 fat, 220 carbs, 140 protein. Cardio stayed the same this week, so I have um, two days at 50 minutes and then three days at 30 minutes, so only five days a week of cardio. Sometimes, sometimes I'll split that one, one of those 50 minute days up into two, a 30 and a 20 and do six days a week. Just kind of depends on my schedule. So anyways, not a ton to report this week, but I just wanted to get this video out there. So you guys weren't like, what's going on? If anyone even cares. So I'm going to eat and then probably go roll into bed because I don't feel good guys. My tummy's bugging me. So anyway, I will see you guys at next week's update. Bye.